Well, I mean, I think our third quarter defense helped us um, rebound, you know, to hold a team like that that shoots the ball the way that they do and the weapons they have, Conley and Clarkson and Bogdanovich, um, to hold that group to 16 points. I thought that saved the game for us. Obviously, we had to make plays down the stretch. Um, it's just a gutty win, you know, when you think about coming into Utah after beating them with nine guys um, to be able to play like that with that much energy. You look at, I did get Chris's numbers minutes down a little bit more than I did <laughs> the other day, but Mikhail played 44, Book at 39, Cam Johnson at 36. And I thought we got contributions off the bench. I mean, Ish coming in and knocking down two threes. Alfred's defense was really good tonight. Um, and Jalen, he rebounds. You know, that's the one thing you can depend on with him is his ability to rebound the ball. Um, but you know, Chris and Book make plays down the stretch. That's that's who they are. That's what they've always done uh, since they've been together here. But again, I, I just felt like the third quarter defense was what saved us tonight. It, it gave us a bit of a cushion. We got some momentum back. And um, like you said, the fourth quarter was a was a dog fight. I wonder, was going into the game, was the approach of we just got nine guys? Or was it mm -mm. Okay. It, we, we, all I talked about before the game was hooping. Okay. Whether we have nine, eight, nine, 15, 17, two-way guys, whatever it is, like just hoop. You know, we have a scheme, we have a system. But you can't forget to go out there and, and, and play basketball and hoop. And I thought we did a good job of that tonight. Um, obviously, you have to execute. You, you got to make you know, stops on defense. But it always comes down to that. You got to go out there and have the confidence to hoop. What was the difference? You mentioned out the third quarter defense. Was it more aggressive defensively, or was that pretty much having to summarize why the defense was that good? I mean, we, we're an aggressive defensive team to begin with. I mean, we, we put hands on bodies. Our guards do a really good job of sticking their bodies in the paint to, to hit bigs. That That's normal for us. So it's not like we up the aggressiveness. I think we just you know, stayed in character. And we, we talked about the physicality before the game, whether it's, you know, switching pick and rolls, boxing out. Now they, they got some offensive rebounds because the ball just bounces here um, because it's so tight and high altitude. And we talked about that as well, but, um, and I thought, you know, we showed poise. Um, Jalen got into it with Whiteside a little bit, but he got the tech and Jalen was able to walk away. Like that's a huge um, sign of growth for our team. Going to Kellen Olson on Zoom. Hey, Hey, Monty, uh, that's the only the second time since you got here that the team has had under 15 assists and you still manage a win in a really tough environment against a good team. Just how much does that speak to how you guys have learned to just win in, in, in games like this that you call gutty? Well, I mean, if you look at the number of shots we missed, um, we didn't shoot a terrible percentage, but we didn't generate enough threes. And, and that's typically what they do. They force you downhill and they go to what we call a steal out and it takes away um, the passes out to your shooters. You know, it's, it's rare for us to only generate 18 threes. That, that's a rarity in any NBA game. So credit their defense. Um, they're really good that way. They, they have bigs that, you know, control the paint. They have guards that pursue. And then the other three guys just steal out to their man and prevent you from kicking it out to your three point shooters. So, a lot of it was their defense. Um, but to your point, uh, to be able to win um, a game like that means you, you have to play defense. And to hold that team under 100 points is a huge uh, feat in, in any environment. Ish is in one of those roles when he comes on the court, he might not get a shot up. He might just get one. So the three-point numbers have been kind of down. But, but how nice was it to see him confidently knock down two tonight in the corner? It was, it was huge. Um, we want our guys to shoot the ball with confidence. We have a, a let it fly mentality. And um, 
you know, why work on your game if you're not going to go out there on the floor and have the confidence to produce when your number is called. And when you have nine guys, you can't be out there turning down shots. Um, because what that does is put a lot of pressure on Chris, Book, and Mikhail, and Cam um, when you're not taking those shots. And it keeps us from being able to hit our bigs when they're diving to the basket. So I was, I was happy about him taking the shot, but ecstatic about him making it. Last one I had, it was only seven turnovers tonight. Was that a point of emphasis for you after Monday? No, it, it really wasn't. Um, you know, we, we ended up with nine. The thing that I like, they only scored 10 points off of those turnovers. So um, I'm never concerned about turnovers with our group because we have good ball handlers and everybody spaces the floor well. And we, got, we have a good idea of where we want the ball to go. Uh, we didn't talk about that at all. Um, we typically, when we have a, a high turnover game, we bounce back. And tonight was a uh, case in point. We'll finish with Gerald Bourdais on Zoom. Hey, Coach, uh, kind of a broad question, but over the last week or so, Devin Booker's just kind of been on a tear. And I know that, you know, we've seen him score like this before, but it just seems like it's come at a time for you guys where you've had so many guys out of the lineup and whatnot. Is that, it seems like he gets it going early. Is that a case of a star scorer kind of recognizing that you could use that kind of boost early or, or just a guy being in a groove right now? Probably both. Um, you know, Chris can read the game, and when Book has it going like that, he typically goes to sets where he can, you know, get him in catch shot environments. Um, but when he's in a groove like that, I think our team feeds off of it. Um, and and what he's done lately, you know, I, I just kind of laugh at the the voting numbers when I see it at the bottom of the the ticker, and so many guys are getting so many more votes than him, it's it's laughable. Uh, when you look at what he's done, not just of late, but all season long and the wins we have, you know, he should be a starter on the all-star team. And, and tonight was one of those games where I think he proved that point. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.